。不行，你要说等一下。等一下。以后是过去。你可以马上的回去，自己压压。Pew, pew, pew. She was watching over our shoulder, watching us eat the food, and we were rushing it. And then, and then at the end, she says, "Okay, don't eat too fast." <laughs>「What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode three of Chinatown Hidden Gems Cheap Eats in New York City, which means we are definitely getting into some deep cut spots, some real hidden gems, some spots." That tourists don't even know about. Everything in this video is gonna cost no more than ten dollars. And if you guys are excited about part three of the Chinatown Cheap Eats video, make sure you hit that like button, click subscribe, turn on your notifications. Let's get into it. All right. So before we get into that first cheap eat spot, I gotta tell you about a game that you might have heard of already. It is Raid Shadow Legends. First of all, you know I'm not a huge gamer, but this is the only game I'm playing right now. It is the deepest and most complex mobile game out there, and my favorite two champions that I'm playing with right now are Athel and Sniper. But you know that might change the more access to other champions that I get, because you know there is 500 of them, and no two champions are the same. The graphics are insane. Artifacts, skills, masteries that you can acquire. Honestly, it's like one of those PC games I always wanted to play growing up. But honestly, I didn't want to sit on my computer all day, and now I got it on my phone right here. Here's a little update for September 2020. Raid just released a huge champion update, tweaking and rebalancing over 20 different champions to make PVP arena battles even more competitive. And if that's not enough, the forge just came out, so now you can save time and start crafting top quality artifacts and competing right away. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you gotta click on the link in the description box down below to download the game for free. Again, guys, check out Raid Shadow Legends. It's the best mobile game out there. Make sure you use that link in the description box down below. Every new player is gonna get an exclusive welcome pack with a hundred thousand silver and a whole new champion, Jotun. I mean, look at this guy. You're gonna need him on your team. Starting off, we've got the Yiji Shimo Noodle Corporation. Just hearing the name immediately, Andrew, it does not surprise me that this is stayed low key. We're talking about Cheng Fun here is like three fifty. Nothing is cracking even five dollars. We're talking about fresh made rice rolls for three dollars. How do you describe it to somebody who's like, yo, what does it look、yeah. like? A weird floppy, almost like an egg white. The noodles, it's so light and fresh. I drove from uptown, about forty minute drive. Just for the rice rolls. All right, Andrew, we are looking at a churn fund extravaganza, super cheap, four dollars at max, mostly three fifty. I compare this kind of to a pastry, David. You know how when you have more thin layers in a pastry, it actually tastes different. That's exactly what's happening. All right, let's get the pork one. That was the barbecue pork one. This is the regular pork one now. Cilantro sausage. I was trust you. I thought it was lop churn. This is、uh, corn and cilantro. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of corn in my churn fun, but let's go. Let's get it. A kale udon, a curry fish ball. While we're waiting, I think that's all you can ask from your churn fun, David. Is that it be floppy, stretchy, fresh? What more can you ask for? This one, I believe, has scallions and cilantro with dried shrimp.、Mm. Would you agree with me, Andrew, that when it comes to churn fun? Sometimes less is more. So this is a shrimp andro ha churn. I gotta go in for another bite just to confirm how good this was. Gotta move on. Curry fish ball.、Mm. The peanut sauce. All right, last one. This is ground pork and egg. Classic ao churn. As you can see, the egg is very thin. Again, floppy. Lots of different layers. Andrew, out of nine flavors, I need a top two. The dried shrimp and cilantro and scallion. And then the scallion shrimp. My first pick is the ha churn,、uh -huh. which is the shrimp one. I'm torn between the pork and egg and the cilantro barbecue pork. Lastly, Andrew at DG Shimo, I actually did not see most people order these things, but they could be good. Young people rarely order these. Maybe the joke. Now this one, David, I actually haven't eaten this dish that many times in my life. What's that? It's the almond soy milk. Blend. Yeah, yeah. This is a more of a black sesame blend. I've actually never had a warm, like melted one. Between、wow. these two, Andrew, I'm actually gonna super endorse the almond flavor.、Ooh. This one was good. Disagree. disagree. You disagree. I disagree, David. You know me. I'm not even into black sesame, but I'm gonna pick this one. Next up, Andrew, we have something that we have never featured on the Fun Bros channel before, but I know is. Huge, especially in Malaysia and Singapore. We have this warm, savory, melt in your mouth. This is、jerky. Chinese Malaysian style beef jerky, and this is called bakwa. 
Bakwa. Or in Mandarin, Rokan. Or in Cantonese, Yokon, I think. Yeah. Which means just like meat dry, dried meat. This can actually get pretty pricey. But don't worry, we are not gonna get more than $10 worth. But I gotta try everything. No, no, man, yo, highlight, Jay Jong Yuko. Which meat is his favorite? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he said beef and pork. Okay. Beef okay. and pork, okay. I am curious to try the chicken just because I've actually never had grilled chicken jerky before. I asked him, I said, man, are you the best in Chinatown? He said, I can't say it, but if you say it, I'm not gonna stop you. He's been in the Ju Yokon game for 23 years. Are you from Malaysia? No, I'm from China, actually. Okay. Right. But you know, like this style is more popular in Southeast Singapore. Asia and China, right? Yeah, Singapore and Malaysia mostly. But they have really popular in China. This is really expensive for the Chinese New Year. It is. Right. Yeah. It is expensive. It's a lot of work. Okay, so we got our jerky here. He was nice enough to label each one so we know which meat it is. We got the beef jerky right here. So everything was $9. It can get up there if you're buying a lot. Malaysian, Malaysian beef, beef jerky. Mmm, it's different. Ooh. This is way more chewy. I actually like the moist, for me, I like the moist one. Chicken jerky. I've never had the chicken oh, you're gone before. Oh, dude. I like the chicken one better than the beef right now. Yeah? Yeah. This, what is next? It's pork. pork, man. Okay, you can see the pork texture being a little bit more different. You see it's a little bit more bumpy. Here we got peas. All right, to me, this is my prediction. Okay. My prediction is that I'm gonna enjoy the pork jerky the best. Yeah, that's what I do. Confirmation bias. Let's go. This is the pork jerky. Pork is pretty good. No, it's, it's good. In my opinion, if you come here, get the pork or chicken. That's my, that's mine. That's my word. Say no more. That's me. Hold on. For chicken and beef, go with the moist one. For pork, because it's the fattiest, go with the dry one. I think it's really cool that you can buy one piece at a time. So if you just have a few bucks, you want one slice. Just one. That's all you need. Andrew, just across the street from Milk and Cream, there is a spot called Yiwa Mian, which is one bowl of noodle. They got duck buns, they got a duck jam bing. They actually have a lot of more hand foods now. Nothing here is even listed as $9. You even have things, items that are $3. The bows are $3 to $4. Are you the owner? Uh, yes. What made you want to open up a Chongqing spot? I've been there. Chongqing and learn it. You went to Chongqing, ate at a lot of different restaurants. He did his due diligence and he came back to New York. Oh, you're about to order a pork jimbing? Yeah, it's like my usual. Like you're a jimbing person. Yeah, I like, like that's your thing. Yeah, it's like a savory crepe. Like a yeah. lightweight to get your day started. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Andrew, we are looking at the $4 duck buns from Yiwa Mian. You have green onion, you have cucumber, you have your sauce, which is usually Tim and I feel like you got more duck in yours. I think I did. But no, no, no. You know what it is? Your duck fell out. Oh, that's what happened, bro. For four dollars, the bun is definitely larger than average. So let's check it out. The yeah. yabao duck bun. That duck is juicy. Why do you think you all men and are so slept on? As long as they do it right and do it tasty, the bao is one of the best like hand foods to get. These bows are three dollars. This one is a beef bow. And then David, you kind of have your more traditional gua bao with pork belly. Beef bun? Pork bun. Kind of like that stewed beef shank that you are gonna find in Chongqing beef noodle soup. And I believe you have swan thai in there too. Yeah, yeah. I'll try the beef one. This pork one, let's go for this pork. Between those two, I'm rolling with the beef one, but actually the best one overall was the duck bow. If you get an option to get the duck in New York City, get the duck, they do the duck right here. All right guys, we got the world famous Jian Bing. Duck Jian Bing, $7. Loaded with plenty of duck, cucumbers, carrots. The Tim Anjang has much more vegetables than a typical gym mm. I gotta give props to the owners from Fuzo, Andrew, because they really serve a very wide range. And they're doing all of it at at least a seven out of 10 level. Get the gym bings and the duck bows here. Get them. Yo, Andrew, we're in front of Golden Steamer, Andrew. They're almost like selling high quantities of very cheap breakfast bows. Bro, I'm telling you, you could buy this by the bulk. Golden Steamer, let's check it out. This is probably the cheapest way to buy bows. You take them home, you can steam them yourself, you can microwave them. They okay. sold out of the individual ones, so we have to buy the packs. $30, we copped endless amounts of bows. 
endless amounts of drinks. If you just buy one of these packs, which is only $6, totally worth it. David, you gotta get the lap trunk bow. They they're are good. still soft, they're just not warm. So look at this. Look at that. Do you see that compression? Do you see that airiness? Guys, this is the lap trung bao, AKA the Chinese sausage steam bun. Unbeatable, lap trung bao, 75 cents. I might just have to eat the rest of this lap trung inside. All right, so this one gonna benefit from being actually steamed. Oh, but ooh. still gooey. Hey, they did not skimp that salted sweet egg yolk right there. Guys, imagine if this was even microwave for even 20 seconds. A dollar each, the salted egg yolk has been pushed out to the edge of the bow. Wow, no, there's a lot in there. Two bites in, and there's still egg yolk in my yo, hand. Yo, you got Tell me, because I can't see. Wong all over your face, man. All right, Andrew, this, guy, this is, is actually a pumpkin bow. This is a lam kwa bao. So this is actually, I, I never get this one. Pumpkin bao. Okay. I gotta say, for a pumpkin bun that is not even warmed up, that's very good. For under a dollar a bow, Andrew, they don't call it Golden Bow Kingdom for nothing. And for our next spot, right next to Milk and Cream, this is called Pho Bang. They have a lot more almost like Vietnamese dinner foods. I've actually never been here, this is my first time. All right, so we got the pho bang, and we have some northern Hanoi-style dishes here. Some northern dishes that you won't find everywhere. This is called bun top. So here you have some grilled pork right here. I don't even know if you eat it with any veggie at all. Maybe, maybe just crack a little bit. Why not? Can't be wrong. Throw it on there. Bun top. You have the shrimp cracker, rice paper, grilled pork with some uh, fried shallots on top. Pretty good. Okay, so this is called Bun Cha Hanoi. Essentially, it's meatballs in a certain sauce, and then you just eat it over noodles. Bun Cha, it's almost like the broth that has some sour notes to it. Yeah. All right, garlic, shrimp, and rice vermicelli noodles. This looks good. And I'm gonna grab some of these onions, just like grilled shrimp, shrimp noodle. noodle. I love when Vietnamese spots cook their green onions for you. Yo, I'm about to dip this in the Bun Cha. Nah. I know guys, this is like reverse bun cha right here. Sorry. That's all good, man. These are slept on dishes. These are things you need to try, especially if you like Vietnamese food. Are we in Hanoi right now? Moving on to the next spot. Our next cheap eat is a legend. In fact, it's one woman. We call her the Zongzi lady. She's here at Grand and Christy. She's often yelling, uh, eat. One zongzi is one dollar. You have the Cantonese style, you have the black rice dumpling. You need to do it yourself, right? Okay, thank you. All right, guys, zongzi lady, she got reviews on Yelp. I'm just saying, she's here. All right, so our next spot on our Cheap Eats food crawl is a new spot. It's called Spring Cafe. They're doing vegan bows. They got vegan french fries, ube sandwich. When I heard about this, Andrew, this was one of the most fascinating concepts. Spring Cafe, let's go. Jajang noodle salad caught my eye because I love the Jajang man. So they have black pepper mushroom bows, ginger vegan chicken, braised tofu skin. They have the crispy portobello burger. Can I do the Hawaiian combo? Yeah. And you said that has fresh pineapple? Yeah. Not canned pineapple? No, it's fresh. Yo. <laughs> so is the owner of here vegan? Yeah. So they're a vegan Chinese from Fujo wanted to open up a cool, cute cafe out in New York. Okay, Andrew, this is a brand new concept. That is a black pepper mushroom guabao. Yeah. And this is a uh, tofu gan. So it's like a dried tofu, vegan, vegan baos. Mm. As far as mushrooms, those might be the king oyster mushrooms because they're big slabs. But this is <clears throat> marinated really well. The flavor's actually really good. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. I actually am a really big fan of this. Yeah, our parents used to make a dish with the uh, braised tofu skin like this. Yo, I really like this. That one's hella good. This one's super Yo, good. Yo, black pepper mushroom, that's already a must get. All right, 425, I've got the Gurung Chong Gai vegan style, AKA imitation chicken with the ginger scallion. Yo, here I have the braised tofu block right here. It does look like pork belly, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get it. This one, the texture is exactly spot on the chicken. I like tofu skin a lot. I like it more than the tofu block. This last one is the vegan barbecue pork. That barbecue pork gluten is like really crispy on the outside. It has the sweetness. As a non-vegan person, I'm impressed. Top two? Well, this one. Yeah, this one's good. Guys, if you come to Spring Cafe, try the bows. Very good. 
Andrew, yeah. you know, for me, I'm going with the vegan burger. Wow. That is a tasty burger. What I like about Spring Cafe is that they got very like Asian options and very non-Asian options. I would totally put this in the non-Asian option. The Chinese flavors definitely go with the bows. Guys, this is something we have to try. And we're looking at a ube sandwich. It is not taro. Ube is not taro, but it's and similar. Here they got whole wheat bread, lots of grain in it. Ube, ube sandwich. sandwich. I'd say if you're really into ube, it's, it's a cool snack to share. It doesn't feel like a whole meal or anything. It could have used a cream sauce. Some type of cream sauce is different. Vegan cream sauce. Guys, here I have the Zajang noodle salad. I have to try this. This was $11. You got your cucumber noodles. So you actually have your regular noodles here. So, Zajang noodle salad. Oh my God. Does that taste like it came from Wagas in Shanghai? Yes, and I'm not mad. This was absolutely worth it. Okay. Try it, bro. It's pretty good. One of the last items we have is this vegan katsu chicken salad. This is some legit looking vegan chicken. Vegan katsu chicken salad. Spring Cafe is definitely a hidden gem cheap eat. I've been impressed by the pricing. I've been impressed by how well they do their meats, their flavors, their recipes. One last thing though, I gotta try this kale smoothie. All right, so in the Chinatown Cheap Eats part two, David, we ended off at Tiger Sugar. A lot of high-end boba chains from Taiwan have entered the US market. And they're all gonna battle it out here at the $7 boba mark. It's still under the $10 price point, plus you're getting experience, Trun Yang Tea. All right, so we got our drinks, guys. Each of these is actually under $6. This is a oolong osmanthus latte with special pudding. And then David, this is your osmanthus oolong. So basically, oolong is their specialty. Trun Yang, Yang Tea. Okay, this is really light. Very decadent, high quality. This is their orange mountain tea, and this is like more competitive with Yifang because it's real fruit tea, but that's very delicious. To close out episode three of the Chinatown NYC Hidden Gems Cheap Eats Food Crawl, and we had to drop a banger on them. We are getting Shanghai news food. I know everybody in Chinatown, they love the Shaolong Bao, aka the soup dumpling. I would say this is the cheapest one. Crab Shaolong Bao is for $7.25. The pork Shaolong Bao, you can get eight of them for $6.50. Guys, these are handmade Shaolong Bao. Every plate is under $10. Yes, even the Shenzhen Bao's here are under $10. The fried rice cakes, aka Chao Nian Gao, is under $10 as well. Shanghai rice cakes. A little bit of pork flavor from the green. It's actually really clean and nice by itself. Okay, we got a lot at Deluxe Green Bow. This is the Shanghai Nisa. I noticed a lot of people getting this. I think if you're uh, into Western Irish Chinese food, you're gonna oh, love this dish. I think they would like that way more than the rice cakes. Yeah, that's a solid dish to have on your table. Moving on, guys, we're about to hit the Shaolong Bao really soon. But here we have the Hong Yo Chao Si or Hong Yo Chao Shou. Spicy one tons. The elements in this dish are very authentic and traditional. This is very representative of NYC Shanghainese. Yeah. We gotta get into the baos. We're talking about Shaolong baos. These are the cheapest Shaolong baos I've ever seen in Bro. America. Bro. Would you say eight for 650? It didn't even break. Look at that juice. Mm. Oh my gosh. The pork Shaolong baos, I gotta say, size wise, it did remind me of Din Tai Fung. The skin was pretty thin. I would say there was a ton of soup. I'm going in on the crab one. Whatever vinegar stuck to the skin is as much vinegar as I'm eating it with. I gotta say, I was pretty impressed, man. Do like, you think, Andrew, that at 750, less than a dollar each for the crab shaolong bao here at Deluxe Green Bowl, these might be the best cheap shaolong bao in America? 85 cents a shaolong bao. I do not think you are going to find a better deal for shaolong bao in New York City. And the how, many, how many shaolong bao is, are you is gonna the eat? camera still on? How many are you gonna eat? Still on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. This is a Shenzhen Bao grilled bun. There's other Shenzhen Baos that have a more thicker skin that almost feels more like a dough. Guys, I would recommend, you guys gotta get this one too. Seven bucks. Andrew, last but not least, we have the Shanghainese appetizers. I'm a big fan of the Tui Ji, the drunken chicken. That's definitely more of a deep cut Shanghainese dish. David, that would taste good in some zhou. Mix that in with some kanji. Mm. I like any Chinese cucumber dish personally. Great for cooling down. All right guys, here we have the Tung Yao Bing. Tung Yao Bing. I think every Chinese lady has some like Chinese teacher in her. Ooh. Please don't have to. 
I give Deluxe Greenbow overall a five out of five. If you know how to pick here, the quality is there, the interactions here, the service is there, and the price is there. All right, you guys, do not worry. All the food in this video was saved. For me, just being able to film this video, it really increased my understanding of Chinatown because Andrew, without this video, I would not have actually tried some of these spots. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching part three of our Chinatown Cheap Eats slash Hidden Gems video. Leave more recommendations down below. We out. Peace. I literally just watched a video and went to um, Taiwan there. Oh, no kidding. Oh, <laughs> Taiwan Bear House. <laughs> <laughs> she went to Taiwan Bear House from Chinatown Cheap Eats part one.